still have some rain we're going to have to battle the next couple of hours, but luckily uh, the severe weather threat is staying away from us at the moment. Here's a current look at what's happening across the CS array. So you can just see generally light to moderate rainfall for us here around the Augusta Metro and a little bit stronger storm there now approaching Wrightsville again. Uh, but the severe storms at the moment outside of our area, just outside of Macon down I-16 and then moving now north and east of Columbia. Uh, we did have some storm reports, though. We had a, a report of a tree down over I-20 blocking westbound lanes. We had tree reported down at Fort Gordon, a couple of hail reports, which is what these blue circles are. And then uh, even in southern Edgefield County had a report of a, a tree coming down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking at our uh, southern counties, Johnson and Washington, you can see a decent little storm there over Wrightsville. They've, it's actually the second time they've gotten hit today. so. Um, heads up there in Johnson County, that appears to be where the strongest storm is at that we're currently looking at. Now, once we move later into this evening, early tonight, most of this rain should come to an end. So I'm really just expecting rain to linger up until May 9, 10 o'clock. I would imagine by midnight, we're looking much drier across the area. Uh, but if you have any plans Friday, we're not expecting quite as many storms. I would imagine we're completely dry early in the morning. Later into the afternoon, we'll see highs mid to upper 80s and cannot rule out a stray shower or storm, uh, but it looks like the chance would be 20% or less for most spots. So uh, I'm imagining we're not going to have a huge issue with rain for our high school football games tomorrow evening, but could there be one game to where there's a quick raindrop or two? Not going to rule that out. So I don't want to say it's a 0% chance, but looking relatively low for most spots. Now Saturday, a little bit better opportunity to see more scattered coverage of showers and storms throughout the day. So a heads up there, especially if you have any outdoor events planned Saturday afternoon, maybe you're heading to Aikens, Macon, anything like that. Uh, not ruling out that you could be impacted by some wet weather, but neither day this weekend really looks like a complete washout. So this is kind of the setup to where I would hate for you to cancel everything just for a, a chance of an isolated storm. I know a lot of us see storm chances in the seven day forecast and instantly just want to hit the buzzer and say cancel everything. I don't think it's necessarily going to be that type of situation. There will be plenty of dry weather mixed in uh, Saturday and Sunday, and hopefully it'll just kind of hit to where you're wanting to get outside. So uh, don't cancel anything just yet. Here's our day planner Friday. Remember Friday, fairly low rain chances for most of the area throughout the day. I would imagine a lot of us do stay dry all day long Friday. High temperatures will stay just a little bit below average, most likely in the mid to upper 80s. We also have high school football tomorrow night. At the moment, not expecting a huge impact with rain there. Temps will be in the 80s around kickoff and then fall into the 70s. Um, so just kind of highlighting that for our Friday, you can see rain chances generally less than 20% across most of the afternoon, even into the evening. but. That is not zero, not zero, so not ruling out. Maybe there is a stray shower storm, but looks to be a low threat for most of us. Now, Saturday, you can see those rain chances do creep up again. So I would just imagine we have a higher chance of seeing at least scattered coverage of showers and storms Saturday. That appears to be mainly into the afternoon and early evening. Sunday, the high temps look to stay about five degrees below average for this time of year and a slightly lower storm chance by Sunday, but still not zero. Very impressive hurricane lead. Now a category four hurricane. This thing is rocking and rolling, folks. It has uh, just a really warm oceans to uh, fuel itself. There's not a lot of wind shear to tear it apart, so it's very symmetrical. And man, this is a heat engine. It is just absolutely uh, continuing to strengthen and really intensify. Likely going to become a Cat 5. This was expected to become the first Cat 5 of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. And you can see that code of uncertainty still gets pretty wide there towards the end of this run. So by next Tuesday, um, it's expected to be a cap four. Um, so as these storms just really kind of blow up and intensify, they do go through cycles. They'll go through an eye wall replacement cycle. And so they'll kind of weaken, strengthen, weaken, strengthen as they're just kind of breathing in and out. Um, so, uh, but it looks like it's going to stay a major category four at least into early next week. Um, and most of the bottle guidance I'm still looking at shows it turning off towards the north and not really being an issue for the southeast. But hey, don't let your guard down uh, down just yet. There could be uh, the potential maybe for it to stay a little bit further south. Looks like a low end risk, so still a good ways away. No need to worry about it at the moment, uh, but we'll continue to keep an eye on it there in the open Atlantic. Here's our full seven day forecast. You can see lows in the 60s, highs in the 80s. We will take it fairly seasonal for this time of year. 
Storm chances just kind of going up and down day after day. So tomorrow, 20% or less up those rain chances Saturday. They go down some Sunday, continue to trickle down Monday, Tuesday, and then they kind of go back up slightly again by the middle of next week. So our pattern is just going to be very persistent. Some days we'll just kind of have a slightly better opportunity for a passing shower storm, but overall 60s, 80s, uh, maybe a stray shower each afternoon. So um, hope you like this weather pattern. Not too bad for the first week or for first official week of September. Uh, but hopefully you had a great day. We'll see you later tonight on News 12 at 11.